Today, Delhi Circuit Court extended the judicial custody of Shraddha Walker murder case accused Afta Punawala for 14 days. He was produced through a video conference. The Delhi police sought an extension of judicial custody and submitted that investigation is in progress. In the last hearing in the case, on November 26th, the court had extended the judicial custody of the accused by 13 days. Vikas Walker, father of 27-year-old Shraddha Walker, said that Aftab should be punished the same way he killed his daughter. He also called for a probe against his family members and others who might be involved in the murder case. After winning Himachal Pradesh, the Congress has called a meeting of its MLAs today to tackle its next challenge, deciding on a chief minister. The meeting will take place at Radisson Hotel in Shimla at 3 pm. The front runner is Congress's Himachal Pradesh Chief Pratibha Singh. There are three other contenders beside her former state chief Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu, Mukesh Agnihotri, the leader of the Congress Legislature Party in the outgoing assembly, and Harshwardhan Chauhan. Today, the Bombay High Court permitted the National High Speed Rail Corporation or NHSRCL to cut around 22,000 mangrove trees in Mumbai and neighbouring districts of Palghar and Thane for the under-construction Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project. The bench of Chief Justice Dipankar Datta and Justice Abhay Ahuja added that NHSRCL will have to comply with certain terms and conditions set out in the approvals granted by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and the Maharashtra Coastal Zone Management Authority when the work is embarked upon. Cyclone Mandus, which has formed in the Bay of Bengal, is expected to make landfall near Mamalapuram between Puducherry and Sriharikota at midnight today, causing heavy rainfall in various districts of Tamil Nadu. Cyclone Mandus, which is currently located at a distance of 320 km from Chennai, is moving in the northwest direction at a speed of 12 km per hour.